Welcome back to AM Buffalo, live on location at Frank Lloyd Wright's Martin House property. We are live inside the Barton House. What a blessing being yes. able to share this with all of Western New York. We just have to continue this conversation about the expansiveness of this property. Yes. Yes. Suzanne, we were talking about this. This is no joke. There is so much to see here. <laughs> there is. Um, you know, we sit in the beautiful Parkside neighborhood. You know, there's all kinds of historic homes. And no matter how much we tell visitors, visitors come from around the world. Yeah. You know, they come from all over the country. And we tell them, you know, we show them aerial photos. We send all kinds of great materials to them ahead of time. But their jaws drop, literally drop when they get out of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, we're si we sit on one and a half acres. We're six buildings. But we have three right designed homes. So we have, obviously, the, the family's main home, 15,000 square feet, as Jesse mentioned. <laughs> we're sitting in the Barton House, mm -hmm. 4,400 square feet. Feels very comfortable, very livable. But the Martins actually added on a gardener's cottage. So they had Frank Lloyd Wright build, we say cottage, it's 1,700 square feet, mm -hmm. build a Wright design home complete with art glass, all of the elements that you think of when you look around also are much more simply presented, but a succession of gardeners and their families lived yeah. in that home. We also have three connecting structures. To top it off, we also have a right design landscape. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the, the gardens were very important to the Martins, and it, people are just really in awe. So, as part of the more than 20 year restoration that Jesse was touching on, the historic rehabil rehabilitating the landscape was part of that. So, there is something for everyone here. Uh, I'm so glad you mentioned that because yeah. if you're looking for a place, hint, hint, to take some photos with your mom for Mother's Day. Yes, this would be fabulous. Would be fabulous. This, yes, yes. And Jesse, I have to ask, there's something you uh, ladies say around here. Our house is your house. Now, you need to explain this because <laughs> I have my pillow and blanket in the Channel 7 van right outside. Is that what you mean? And if not, please clarify. Well, there are de definitely different ways to experience this house. So we say our house is your house because we want everyone from Western New York to feel comfortable here. Maybe mm -hmm. not everyone to bring their pillow and blanket, <laughs> although there are opportunities for that, and I will talk about that in a minute. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, one of the things I love the most about this site is there's no fence. And it really functions as an extension of Delaware Park mm -hmm. and a pocket park for the people who live in this neighborhood. All day long next to my office, there's kids riding their bikes, there's dogs walking, so you can come and visit the right designed landscape anytime you want. You don't have to go on a tour, you don't have to wait for a special event. And in addition to the tour program, which as Suzanne said, attracts people from literally all over the world, we also offer a number of free community events throughout the year that I know folks will talk about a little bit later. But um, if you do want to come and stay here, we actually do have a creative residency program. This will be our inaugural year, and we've invited artists to submit proposals from, and we have literally gotten those from all over the world, from South America, from Asia, from Eastern Europe, wow. from all over the country, people who understand the value of this space and want to come in and create contemporary art here that helps us see this house in a whole new light. So those folks will have the opportunity to come here, live here for up to four weeks, and then they'll present some art to our community that's based on what we have here. So it's a great way, again, to bring people in from all parts of the world and for our community to benefit from that artistic vision. Gosh, oh, that so is fabulous. much happening yes. right now. Yes. And on that note, you're really excited because some things are opening up again that haven't been open for quite some time. Speaking of, the Statler Cafe. That's just about to open, correct? Uh, hoping for Memorial Day. Oh. So yeah, we have a, a new new person leading the, the cafe, it has a whole new vision. The idea would be how else can we use that space? So obviously having a food and beverage option for people, mm -hmm. they're overwhelmed. You're exhausted when you're done because you've just been inspired <laughs> for two straight hours and you don't know, you know, you're just drained. But the other thing is we have been doing a lot of adult workshops. Uh, we have been thinking about all different kinds of ways to use these spaces. And in fact, I want to mention the Barton House where we're sitting right here, mm -hmm. you can rent this space. So if you have a special birthday coming or you, you know, have a special professional event, we have numerous spaces on the site, one of them being kind of the historic, two of the historic houses. Uh, you can rent our beautiful visit Center. We have a beautiful all glass visitor center at, added in 2009 by uh, a, a Japanese architect, Toshiko Mori, who was very early in her career. So we really love just kind of that connection. Uh, she won a design com competition to do that. So even when you come here, uh, that visitor center is open. There are displays. So 
lots to do. So please come. So. Uh, yes, <laughs> lots to do and so much more to talk about because up next we get to talk tours. Yes, and as Jesse had brought up, there are so many local events to yes. bring the locals in. If you haven't seen this place or you haven't seen it in a while, there's gonna be so many reasons to visit. So yeah. stay with us. You're watching AM Buffalo.